Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my first video of the new year and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I make new videos and upload more content. I upload three times a week at least and uh, yeah I would love to have you here as a subscriber. Wanted to give y'all a little update and say thank you because my goal for the end of the year was at least 400 subscribers and 20,000 views. Currently sitting at 438, and I know that's not, you know, Jaclyn Hill numbers, but it's amazing for me. I never thought that would happen. And I'm sitting just over 20,000 views. I refreshed it this morning when I woke up, and I hit 20,000 sometime last night. So, and I'm recording this on the first. So, you know. So I hit my goals, I'm super excited, I'm really happy, and I cannot wait to keep growing with you guys. And uh, yeah, so I have got some big goals for this year that I'll let y'all in on probably a little later, and I have some plans for the year already. But <clears throat> to quit rambling, today's video is on the newest dupe from Hush, because y'all know they're my favorite. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now and I'm super impressed. So what we have got is the Wild Palette by Face Candy and yes these straps are even like velvet. It is absolutely gorgeous and when you open it up it's got a mirror. There's a the camera and it looks like this. <clears throat> I'm going to get y'all some swatches in just a second. But if you cannot guess what this is a dupe for, it is a dupe for the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. That's the one that like opens up and it's got all those colors in it. And that packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Though this is cute, they did not touch that packaging. But so far, I think they definitely uh, made a really good palette. It performs well. Absolutely love it already. So, um... That is it for this intro. We are going to give you some swatches and then we're going to give you a tutorial and then I'm going to give you all my final thoughts on how I feel about this wild palette because I think it is incredible. So I'm going to stop rambling and here's your swatches. Okay, so we've got our first two rows here. We've got some mattes, shimmers, velvets, all that good stuff. They're all super pigmented. Okay, so here we've got our next two rows. We've got a whole bunch of shimmers, a couple of mattes, a super, that is one swap, <clears throat> on the matte black. But these are kind of some of our darker colors through here. This is super pretty. I can't wait to play with it. This is what I used primarily on my eyes today. The only color I'm not... <laughs> big fan of as pretty as it is is this one right here this pink it's really powdery but all the other colors are performing super well yeah so now it's time for your tutorial okay so the first color i want to go into is sensation right there and y'all pardon my horrible nails you're gonna see them a lot while i'm pointing at colors they're bad this is just my light tan to set in my primer. I use the MAC Paint Pot like always. And that's all we need that for. Then we're going to go into this color right here. I think that is offbeat. And it's got a little bit of a velvet texture. It's not quite a matte. But I'm going to use this for my first transition shade. Okay, so then we are going to go into Uproar right here. And I'm going to take that in the crease too. And just try to blend it together a little bit lower down. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like these blues have quite a bit of fallout, but not too terrible. So we are going to go into Anarchy. That is the black. And we're just going to take that in the outer corner. We're going to tap it off really good so that we don't go too crazy. Okay, so <clears throat> then for um, the lid, I've kind of set this up for a halo eye, and I want to go into Bang. That is this bright yellow glitter here, and I'm just going to put that in the center of my lid and really focus it in the center. So next, I'm going to take just a little bit of Rebellion right here. It's a kind of velvet white, and I'm going to put that in my inner corners and my brow bone. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take this brush and try to be real precise and use kind of the mixture of colors on here to just give me a little bit of color. Nothing too crazy. I need some eyeliner. So I'm actually going to use my Crate Finds eyeliner because it performed very well and I'm super fond of it. So I'm just going to take that and probably edit this out while I try to get a little bit of liner on. Okay. So that is my liquid liner. But I can't find my water liner. Mm. One second. Okay guys, so I found my eyeliner and I found some lashes and this really interesting Velvet Lux lipstick by Tony Dash that I tried out. Got to decide how I feel about this one. But uh, just something new that I was going to try out. You actually get your first one free, I think. I paid like $2.50 shipping. Showed up. Took a while. But it feels nice. <laughs> so we'll see if it lasts. I'm not going to keep this makeup on too long, but maybe for a little while. So uh, final thoughts on this baby. It is definitely gorgeous. I'm gonna, okay, here's y'all's final look. Just so you can get a good idea of how this performed. And I'm feeling like Starry Night vibes from this look kinda. I'm liking it. I'm gonna zoom, ooh, wrong way. Zoom y'all out so I can talk to you. Okay, so I really like how this performed. I feel like the colors, like I went in with some dark, crazy colors for transition. They still performed really well. Uh, the black was definitely super pigmented. Um, still blended into the outer corner pretty good. And that shimmer laid down amazing. And it swatches out good. I've swatched it a couple of times because I just keep looking at it. Because it's just so pretty. Like it's got so many colors. I cannot speak for what it dupes, but I can say that I definitely like this palette. I think it performed well. Hush knocked it out of the water. This one is by Face Candy instead of Bad Habit, but they did a really good job. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all are having a wonderful 2018 so far, and uh, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, you guys.